Good morning, good afternoon. Let me make sure everything is straight. Can y'all hear me okay? Let's see. Let me check these levels. Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. And I ain't out here for nothing. But anyway. You know, we, most of us as African Americans, uh, is that what they call us now? Coloreds? Um, uh, anyway, the indigenous folk, especially in America, um, we have a special place in our heart for the Kennedys. You know, most of us do at least. If it was three pictures we had or our grandparents had on their walls, it was... Martin Luther King, of course, it was the big JC, right? And then it was uh, Robert F. Kennedy. I mean, John Kennedy. I'm sorry, JFK. And, um, I mean, that was just a staple in every household. All black back in the day. Black in the day, you had a picture of John Kennedy. You had a picture of Martin Luther King. And these were on your walls. And you had a picture of white Jesus. Okay? I remember going over my grandmama's house and looking at white Jesus. And his eyes would be so blue. You know, they would be like those that movie, The Children of the Dam. I don't know if y'all remember that. Let me, let me stop dating myself too much. Okay, so anyway, we got uh, 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 Robert Kennedy Jr., the nephew a former president, John Kennedy, he spoke to a, a crowd. Um, in fact, he's been having a lot to say lately. Let me just talk about that. He's been having a lot to say. I always say is, is if I had to support any ticket, if it would be any ticket that I would love to see, it would be like a Bernie Sanders and I don't, um, a Marianne Wilson, Mar Marianne Williamson, I'm sorry, or forget about... Bernie and a Kennedy. Um, I think I could live with that. I can't live with no more of these um, really, really, really old white men that are just. And I'm not age trying to age shame some anybody. I'm talking about old white men that don't have an open mind, because there are some uh, older men with op with open minds. Okay. And if we don't have somebody that is representing all the people and they old, then they need to sit their asses down someplace, okay? But anyway, I would vote for a ticket that had uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. and Marion Williamson. Marianne Williamson. But then let me just go with this article because I don't know if he won himself any friends with this. Um, he's a Democrat White House contender. Robert Kennedy Jr. blamed the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA, for the assassination of his uncle, President John Kennedy, in 1963, which traumatized all of us kids that grew up in the 60s. Those of us who remember the 60s, I was barely born. I was like about maybe three, four when he was assassinated, but I remember the effect that it had on my mother. And most kids remember when their parents and their mothers cried. And their dads uh, are upset. That's why I said don't do y'all uh, good to do that stuff in front of your kids because it traumatized them. And what this country did was it traumatized the whole nation. When we watched him get shot down on TV, uh, they, they did that on purpose to leave us traumatized. They didn't give a damn. And that should have gave us the biggest hint right then that this government didn't give a damn about us up, but we had to keep fighting them regardless. We had to keep coming regardless. Um, and so, uh, um, when, when Junior, the son, he had, um, made those allegations, he made them on the Castillas radio program, a 7780, okay, Cats Roundtable. Theories around JFK's assassination have endured throughout the decades, with many others speculating that the CIA, former President John, Linda B. Johnson, the Mafia, the Soviet KGB, Jackie Onassis, I never heard that one, or the Fidel Castro regime, 
or some say a combination thereof, were all involved in his death. There is overwhelming evidence that the CIA was involved in his murder. I think it's beyond a reasonable doubt at this point. Absolutely. The same way it was with Dr. King. Kennedy said about the November 63 incident in Dallas, Texas, the evidence is overwhelming that the CIA was involved in the murder and the cover-up. Absolutely, because that's, that's what they do. So how can you really talk about these entities like they're really the FBI, the Alphabet Boys, the CIA? These are hit squads, really, basically, uh, for America, just like Bloods and Crips in the hood. Kennedy made reference to the book JFK and the Unspeakable, penned by James Douglas for some um, uh, uh, of his assertions. The book theorized that Kennedy was assassinated because he sought peacemaking during the Cold War and was then killed by his own security apparatus. Yeah, because I'm still in shock about that, um, slowing down that scene, and I'm not sure if my eyes are playing tricks on me, but it sure looked like that driver reached back with something. It looked like the driver reached back and hit him and then speed it up. I, I, I can't. Anyway. The federal government concluded during its Warren Commission report that shooter Lee Harvey Oswald was the lone suspect in the assassination. You're right. They said that there was no credible evidence to suggest that uh, he was part of a wider assassination conspiracy. Oswald was shot and killed by alleged Chicago mob associate Jack Ruby two days after Oswald was accused of the assassination. Ruby then would be convicted of murder and sentenced to death, but he died in prison several years later. Um, good way to get rid of the patsy, huh? The CIA has long denied any involvement, and that's George Bush Sr., uh, in the president's death, which is a lie. An article published on the intelligence agency website says that it was a lie that connected the CIA to the Kennedy assassination, alleging it was part of a KGB disinformation campaign and then cast aspirations against former Oliver Stone's 1991 film, JFK, which strongly suggested the CIA and other federal officials may have been involved in the assassination. Unfounded assertions of the CIA complicity were bolstered inadvertently by a series of investigations and the intelligence community of the 1970s. The 1975 Rockefeller Commission report was followed by a 1976 report of the Senate Select Committee. Same bullshit they do today. All the committees, all the task force, all this, and we ain't got no further ahead. We still working on who killed Kennedy. Hell, we already know who killed Kennedy. Let's move it on up some. You know, this 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 is a, this is so sad. So it don't matter who they kill. You go off script, you a dead man. All examine the CIA's activities before. Uh, both before and after Kennedy's assassination and in the case of his HSCA specifically looked into Shaw's supposedly role as a high-ranking operative, it added, referring to businessman and military officer Clay Shaw, who arrested, I mean, who was arrested and charged on March 1st, 1967 with conspiring to kill Kennedy. Two years later, he was acquitted by a jury. The article stated the bottom line in each instance gave no credence to any local district uh, Jim Garrison's allegations about Shaw and the CIA. Inexorably, however, the mere fact that such questions were um, asked helped fashion Garrison into something of a prophet in a public mind. Garrison allegedly uh, allegations were prominently featured in the JFK film. Hmm. Interesting. Other claims. Um, Kennedy Jr. 
uh, on Sunday said there aren't. This ain't the first time he's floated the notion that the CIA killed his uncle. He also claimed in the past that his father wasn't killed by Sirhan Sirhan, a Palestinian man who supported communism. I also hope that the governor will consider the overwhelming evidence that Sirhan is not my father's killer either, Kennedy wrote. Mm -hmm. He wrote, for many years I accepted the orthodoxy that Sirhan was responsible. After all, dozens of eyewitnesses in the Ambassador Hotel pantry saw him fire his gun from just a few feet away from in front of my father. But in 2016, my father's close friend, Paul Schrade, persuaded me to read Los Angeles County Coroner Thomas Noguchi's autopsy report and listen to the audio recordings and review other evidence indicating that Sirhan could not have been the murderer. Kennedy went on to say that Sirhan fired two shots at Kennedy, an upstart senator from New York who was running as a Democrat in 1968. One of the bullets, he said, struck Shran in the, in the head. The other bullet hit a door jam. He then fired more shots, hitting several other bystanders, Kennedy alleges. However, none of those bullets struck his father, Kennedy said, floating the theory that the four shots that hit his father were from within a few inches, with two leaving gunpowder residue in his wounds, suggesting that the assassination was standing close behind my father, shielding his weapon with his body, all while his attention focused on Sirhan. He also alleges that the Los Angeles police investigators bullied and badgered eyewitnesses to change their statements regarding the number of shots and to silence those who say that they saw Caesar draw and shoot his gun, and those who reported conspirators conspirators dashing from the scene. Ain't this ain't that how it go? Thank Eugene Caesar, he said, um, was the individual who killed his father before shooting. Uh, before the shooting of, Sir, of Sirhan, he said, he, a recently hired security guard grabbed Kennedy by the elbow and steered him towards Sirhan, he said. Be dealt by questions his involvement in my father's murder, Caesar led, fled to the Philippines. I was in negotiations with him in 2018 before reports of his death in September 2019. After first agreeing to meet with me, he gradually escalated his price to $25,000 for the privilege of interviewing him. Kennedy, an environmental lawyer and writer, declared his candidacy for president several weeks ago. A Fox News poll showed that 19% of the voters favored him. Yeah, because he outside of that Holly, um, Hollywood corporate conglomerate. And I'm not saying he's a perfect, but he's better than what is up there right now. And he deserves a, actually a thought. He actually deserves a debate. But you think they're going to let him debate uh, Joe Biden? They already said they don't want to give him no, no um, debates because they know he's going to fall out. He's going to drop the ball. Okay. I guess I'm going too far. What y'all think about this? What y'all think about uh, John Kennedy, especially those of y'all who was alive when um, Robert was, uh, I mean, when John was assassinated? Do you remember? Do you remember what you was doing that day? I can't remember what I was doing. My mama was watching one of those soap operas, The Edge of Night. Son of them, one of them. And she went to screaming, out of control. 
And that's when I first met my first moment of death um, of a president. And I was traumatized by it. Next was uh, Mar Malcolm X sitting in the uh, church when um, we got pulled out by our dad because he was assassinated. The 60s was a term, term uh, uh, just a, a, a crazy turmoil-filled decade. How many of y'all remember that? If you do, you know, leave a comment in the section below. And also, y'all, tell me what you think about him, Robert Jr., running for um, president. You think he should just leave well enough alone? We haven't had a Kennedy represented in a while. <coughs> I think they have been a family of service. <coughs> and if you're going to pick anybody, I mean, why not go with somebody with a proven track record of um, doing something that they didn't have to when they did it? They had a conscience. I don't know. What you think? All right, and I'm not saying for like those of y'all that get in the comment section and go, he didn't do nothing when a bulldog kind of. I do know one thing. He called the dogs off. You remember that? He said, "Look, what well, well, you know, the, the, you can't do that. <laughs> it's not very fair." Remember that? Well, we're gonna have to do something because I mean we can't have that. I'm gonna have to send in the guards. Yeah. All right, let me know what y'all think about this. Especially those of y'all who remember his dad and when his dad was assassinated. Um, just that whole Kennedy dynasty, I guess. All right, leave your comments below. And if you like what you hear, y'all, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next.